Welcome back to Nerd Room with J&J. James Sharmack with another Mark Farland Toys DC Multiverse figure for you. So we are looking at the Shazam from Shazam for you, the God movie. Uh, figure obviously inspired by the Zachary Levi portrayal of the character. So we're going to take a look at the figure. Take a look at the likeness. Do a little compare with the uh, old uh, DC Multiverse figure we have from the original Shazam. Should be a lot of fun. Let's see how it goes. And uh, we'll take a look at the box first, and then we'll take a look at the figure. So we have your standard uh, McFarlane Toys box going on here. The logo on the bottom of the movie, obviously. A nice window box display with the figure more or less in a pose kind of position, unlike the Marvel Legends that just has them just standing there. You can see the accessories just fine. And on the inside, you got the logo of the movie, and uh, obviously the figure, and basically where the figure comes from on the back. I wish they had a figure going on instead of a drawing, but it is what it is. You know, just, just want to get product out for them, we right? Nothing much going on here. There was a little sticker that says what the product was. On the top, another logo from the movie. And, uh, you know, 22, uh, 22 uh, articulations going on. And usual, usual junk on the bottom. So, that's your box. Let's take them out of the box and take a look at them. All right, so let's take a look at the figure. Looking pretty solid, looking awesome. Uh, not very spot on likeness of Zachary Levi, in my opinion. Uh, suit has nice texture. You know, obviously, with the McFarlane's, they've had, you know, they've worked a lot about, you know, making these screen accurate. So, you know, the fabric of the suit looks pretty cool. There's nice uh, color deviations, like a little, uh, little darker red going on the sides there. Uh, I like how the, uh, Lightning bolt display, the logo kind of look, made it look like, it's kind of like a light source going on. Uh, I like how uh, it's got these little silver and gold going on with the, not only the, the uh, wrist gauntlets, but the uh, booth itself. As I said, it's nice, uh, nice resemblance to uh, Zachary Levi. You know, McFarlane kind of, sometimes will deviate a little bit for whatever reason, but that's pretty solid looking. Uh, I do wish a cape had a hood to it, you know, uh, but, you know, they probably changed things up, I guess. I don't know. He probably doesn't wear the hood in the movie or didn't wear it in the, wear the, in the first movie, but it is what it is. So, you know, pretty solid looking figure. Let's take a look at his, his accessories and we'll take a look at this articulation. Okay, so the figure comes with a few things. Uh, first off, I wish he came with a flight stand. Obviously, I feel if a flying figure you ought to be able to display them in flight but it comes with the the dc uh figure stand which is fine you know it's rather than nothing i guess but you know like i said i will pose them in a flight stand see how he looks but would have been cool if he came with one comes with the usual card you get with the mcfarlane figures uh with you know info on back if you ever want to read it or whatever uh it comes with two pairs of hands uh one pair of fists and uh obviously a uh, couple of Hands that just do whatever, uh, probably used for the uh, lightning effect. And speaking of, pretty much the same lightning effect you had with uh, the uh, TV flash, but a blue looking one, so that's pretty cool. So we'll have some fun posing that a little bit and see how it looks. So let's talk his articulation. Probably the same articulation we've seen with every other McFarlane toy. Uh, side back, it goes that far, goes forward that far, spin it around, tilt, tilt for some reactions it's got that a uh, butterfly hinge right there and go forward and back uh his arm goes up that far goes down that far all the way around bicep rotation double joint at the elbow wrist rotation back and forth uh diaphragm rotation and bend back that far with the with the rotation at the hip go forward that far with uh not only the diaphragm and rotation at the hip can rotate the diaphragm and the hip Get him back to normal. Doesn't really seem to have any uh, have any abs, but whatever. It is what it is, right? Uh, legs go apart that far. Go forward and back that far. Double joint at the knee. Uh, motion rotation, but angle back and forth, pivoting as well as toe articulation. So, so I put him some poses and see how he looks.
So for me anyways, I think it looks pretty solid if I'm just running him in a flight stand. Obviously a figure such as him with flight capabilities should have a flight stand coming with him, but you know, I I didn't, you know, I don't run a company, so it's not my decision to make. But he, he looks okay with just the DC regular stand. Obviously a pose like this where he's a shooting lightning, it looks pretty cool. Almost statuesque, but could be better, you know. But you know, that's why they make individual flight stands, right? I wonder if McCrown's going to put out some, you know, flight stands on his own. That'd be pretty cool. So, we have the Mattel figure. Uh, I, I like the Mattel figure myself. I don't think it's a bad figure, but... McFarlane figure is a little bit better. Though, I will say, I wish that they gave him a little bit more personality with a face. As you can see, the Mattel one has a little bit of a smirk to it. A little bit of an eyebrow raise. So, you know, it has a little mischievous look. It's got a little bit of personality to him. Whereas, uh, the McFarlane toys has more of a stoic look. So, you know, it is what it is. But still, I think that, you know, in the year since, you know, they've kind of improved on it and, you know, maybe it'll look like a better figure. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And because he interacted with them technically at the end of the first movie, you have the Henry Cavill Superman. Uh, well, you know, because who needs a reason to pull out the Henry Cavill Superman figure to put him in a video, am I right? So, thoughts. Uh, very solid looking figure. Uh, he's more helped by the flight stand that I got for like the Lex Luthor Superman figure than the uh, standing uh, one that I have that came with a figure. So, you know, like I said, rule of thumb. If you have a character that's flying around, hovering around, put a flight stand in it, DC. Don't, you know, just give him a flight, uh, a regular stand, you know, make him soar, make him fly, make him look, you know, like this, this fantastic, you know, you know, it's almost statuesque, am I right, am I wrong, whatever, let me know, uh, I like a lot of these figures, you know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, if, if it, if you can give me a pose that pops, you know, if you put a little effort into, you know, designing the figure, I'm not gonna have a problem with it. If you know, if it looks like it's cheap, if it's just slap it on paint, I'll let you know. You know, I wouldn't say I'm, um, you know, I give these passes, but you know, if, you know, I'll let you know if I like it, if I don't like it, whatever. I've been doing this for, you know, almost five years, six years now, I think, was it 2017 I started doing these videos, review videos. And, uh, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say I'm still getting started, but you know, I'm not, as nitpicky as I probably should be, but you know, if it looks good, I'm not gonna, you know, knock it for whatever. You have to give me a reason to knock it, and there you go. Anyways, hope you guys did like this review video. If you do like this figure, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like the figure, let me know in the comments below. What are you looking for from the DC uh, multiverse figures to come? I'm waiting for like more Flash figure releases from the movie. I'm looking to see what they can do with the Michael Keaton figure. That should pop. And, you know, I've heard rumors that they might come up with a Batmobile from the movie, so that would be awesome to review. But, anyways, if you like this this video, this review, uh, give me a like, give me a share, give me a subscribe, whatever. Got a couple of subscriptions this week. Thank you guys for subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more, at least some Marvel figures done. I've been meaning to, you know, they're piling up. I just, I don't know why, I just haven't been able to do it. Whatever, uh, we'll try to get to some in the near future. Anyways, my name is James Charmack. This has been a Nerdum with J&J. &J, and as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.